up, you two? It's working. Say something. I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you always watch the video. So now there's been a lot of talk after Clarence and Queen posted up a photo of Queen holding a bride to be signed. Now Queen did inform everyone that they were just trolling and that they aren't really engaged. Well, you guys know Chris has been doing this whole messy tea time on TikTok and he responded to the shade room posting up Queen stating that she was just trolling. Yes. <sighs> No, that was a close one on oh my soul. I thought they really got married. I was in my room crying day, night, and day in. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> but not on a serious note, baby girl, you do not. It's just funny because he be thinking like this stuff makes him funny or entertaining. Bro. This, stuff, this stuff makes you look lame. Like for real, for real. Like this stuff, like, again, you the type of baby daddy that I don't like. It's like you just can't move on. Like move on, bro. Like, again. For you being who you are, you bro, you're Chris Sales. You ain't no upcoming YouTuber like me, bro. You are Chris Sales, bro. Put some respect on your name and get back to the content. Easy, bro. Like, mind you, you don't want people that's gonna use you, but hey, you know for a fact that hey, it's people that, that that will try to use you for who you are, try to gain cloud off of who you are, use them to run up your bag. Get like Focus on you. Troll us, you trolled yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to act like I'm happy when really I'm hurting for real, for real. Uh, I'm sick. Y'all, give me something else to react to on my TikTok besides this. Because y'all want me to do this, clearly. And what I mean by y'all, nobody. I wanted to do it. <laughs> but no, on a serious note, bro. That's not funny, bro. Um, but no, no troll shit. They look really happy, though. For real, for real. They look real happy. And I'm not even... I'm going to say it's like... If she had this had a plan with a crash out type of dude, it would be over for Chris. It would literally be over. Like he would be put in a hospital somewhere. He luckily Clarence Clarence about that, that crash out type, bro. You got blessed. You got blessed that you got a baby mama that's not with the drama. And then you got a, her new man that's not with the crash out. Cause if he was boy. Don't run home, bro. <laughs> On GD. Boy is lucky. My baby mama's still cute though, one, bro. Look at this thing. I ain't gonna lie, every time I see her out in public, she don't be wanna look at me in the eyes. She know why. She know she still love me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, let me stop. My bad, Claire. My bad. I'm done. I this is my last video. I'm done. I'm done trolling. Oh, um, bro. I need something else to do. I need to get up life so now queen responded real, to chris's real, video man. with while he's laughing at me i hope this coin he making off my name help out a little bit with some of his son's expenses because i gave him grace by not putting him on child support i've been so nice he hasn't taught his son anything valuable it's sad that another man had to come and do his part shaking my head and yeah he may have made me a wife quickly but he also put bruises on me during the marriage choked me up ruined my self-confidence calling me ugly calling my body ugly after giving birth to his child carelessly on, stepped bro. out on our marriage countless of times hogged all the money we made and other unspeakable things but laughing at me because i haven't married again yet i'd rather take my time in a healthy relationship than to be in see but some of y'all that's giving her all this negative about not being married, look at that. Sometimes that's not what's some. Hey, again, that's a beautiful thing. Trust me, it's a beautiful thing. Even for, even from a, from a man's standpoint, that's a beautiful thing. But sometimes that's not, you know, like the the end all of like the the top most everything. Because some men will use that as an excuse to to feel like now because you're their wife, now they control you. They control everything, like all the stuff that he was doing in their marriage. I don't want to say I guarantee, but he probably wasn't doing none of that before the marriage. 
Once you got married, oh, I own you now. I own you. You have my name. I own you. That's what most men think. It's like well, most men that, that have the income. If you have nothing, ladies, you have absolutely nothing. Most men will use that as that's their reason for uh controlling you. You you better not do this. You better not back talk. You better not question when they be out cheating. If they if you do say something, it, your last thing that you better say is you that you leave them because what they take care of everything. So really keep your mouth shut. See, why well, you gotta be careful. A traumatic marriage you would think he would have done some self work to become a better man after all these years but no still a delusional narcissistic right. liar i can only pray my son doesn't turn out like him he needs to seek the god who he stopped believing in. So obviously I'm sure Queen and Clarence have been seeing all these videos that Chris has been posting and she has had enough. Well, Chris was also speaking on Queen on TikTok again, stating that he's tired of Queen speaking negative on his name every chance she gets. Couldn't do it. I couldn't wear. No, I'm so, like at this point, I'm just, my bad. I had to. I had to catch a breath. Like I said before, we already uh, reacted to this part, but it's like he want her, and just like most people, like all right, they've been together for all them years. This say if the if the last two years or whatever, this say this say for four years, the last two years was all that drama, all that stuff that she named. The first two years was okay. He's the type of person, just like most people, they want you to to. Not focus on the last two years. Focus on the first two years. No, bro. The first, the last two years gave more scars, more uh pain, more uh memories, nightmares, really, than uh, than the other two years. So therefore, no, your out, your bad will always outweigh your good in the moments. First of all. I didn't care if Shorty wore a bathing suit, no offense, but she was insecure in the bitch anyways. That's why she went and got a BBL. She was insecure. I'm just being real. I want to tell y'all the truth because I'm tired of my name getting bashed on my soul. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm tired of my name getting bashed. Every time I see an interview about me, it's always bad things. Well, if it was so bad, why did you stay with me for six years if everything was just bad? Every time you break up with somebody, the females always tend to, this nigga did this, this nigga did this, but she will never say anything good that he did. He wouldn't, she would never glorify that man. They would never be like, oh yeah, he was a good person. He did this. He made sure I was straight. He did this. He dropped out of college for me. He did this. He did this. He did this. He made sure my family was straight when they was on section eight. He did this. He did this. He bought me flowers. He made sure I was straight. He loved me. Like, there is never no because your bad outweighs all that, bro. All that you probably every good thing that, that you name it, you probably did something horrible right after it. Like, no, bro. It's like, or you would do the bad thing and then do the good thing to make up for the, the horrible thing that you just did. No, 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 it don't work like that, bro. So you get so you're gonna be a good person or you're gonna be a bad one. And you were trying to play both sides. From the outside looking at mind, we don't know this person, but I'm just saying. That it's like the bad always outweighs the good when you get out of a relationship. But facts. I'm just sick of tired of and, and 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 honest to God, they was tagging me in that video. That's the only reason why I'm reacting to this. But it is what it is. I'm just irritated right now. I'm not even. It's not even messy, Chris. Ryan. I'm just irritated. But now Corey's boo, Danny, filed a restraining order against Sherelle. Now, if you guys didn't know, Sherelle has been exposing Danny for all of these alleged scams. So Danny had enough and decided to take it to the courts and file that restraining order. Well, now Sherelle is stating that she's going to take her paperwork to court as well, showing everything and how Danny has been falsifying a lot of information. Somebody go tell Danny that filing for a restraining order and an injunction comes with a defense. She should have thought about that before she Hold on. Let me know in the comments or hit my DM and let me know. Ain't this whole thing was she was trying to 
she was uh using somebody else's content or situation to expose Danny. Like you don't you not even exposing her for scamming you. You you was exposed exposing her for scamming somebody else. Okay, that's your, that's what you do. That's your content. Okay, but now you're like, ain't you going a little bit too far? A little. It's like it wasn't your it wasn't your situation. You. It's like it's like if I react to a video and this is actually happened before. <laughs> this actually happened before. It was a, a, a another YouTuber who had I guess conflict or whatever with a, with another. I think he was I think he was a rapper. They had conflict whatever. The dude made a video about it. I react to it. He hit my DM. Like, you should have put this in the... Like, bro. Bro. That has nothing to do with me, bro. That has nothing to do with me. Make your video or leave me out of it. That has nothing to do with me. So this situation... Like, again, unless I'm remembering it wrong. You don't have... She didn't scam you. She scammed somebody who brought you the content. You're going too far now. Just let it go. Now I'm about to go in the courts and tell them everything straight to a judge. I mean, from top to bottom, scripted, unscripted, straight off the dome. I don't even give a fuck. But I will have a manila folder that will back up everything and prove for a fact that everything that I'm saying is true. Why are these millionaires like this? Make it make sense. Like, y'all know y'all out here committing fraud and doing all this illegal shit, done committed crimes that you ain't been caught for. But you rather hand deliver yourself to the motherfucking feds. You rather walk in a courtroom and say, oh, I want to file for a restraining order. And the courts are going to say, all right, well, we're going to have to serve her. She's going to have to come to court and basically defend herself. And I'm walking in there with everything. I'm talking about the fraudulent ass bullshit that you was submitting with CPS, state jail felonies. That's seven of them. I'm talking about you going and getting shit in this man's name. All of that shit is going to be my defense for you out here scamming these people. I'm standing up for them. And now you want to get a restraining order? Oh, you went and you called CPS and you put them people in my kid's life all because I was standing up for people. Oh, yeah, now you want to get a restraining yeah. order? That judge going to look at you and be like, so you did all of this shit. And now the shit on the internet, basically explaining who the fuck you are, you want an injunction. You want her to shut up. And then all of the proof is going to back it up. <laughs> then I, boy, I tell y'all, you should have talked to your mentor, Ashley. And asked now I'm thinking about it, though. Again, like I said in the last video, if this is, if what she's, the stuff that she disposed is not true, Danny got, you know, supposedly she has, she has money. That's defamation of character if, if what she's doing is not, it's not, uh, no, if it's false, it's defamation of character. Why are you just putting a restraint on her and not defamation about that? I had to think about that. Hold on. That, that, that's a little throw off right there, bro. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It might be true then, because again, if <laughs> I don't want to sue nobody, I don't want to sue nobody. But if I had the opportunity like that, I'm suing you for that defamation. Defamation of character, especially if I know for a fact of what you is putting on the internet is an absolute lie. Yeah, I'm suing because I know I'm gonna win that. The straight order, you can win that. If she didn't go to court. And to, to testify or, or whatever, fight against it, whatever, yeah, you probably would have won that. But if she go to court, you're more likely going to lose because she's going to expose everything in court. Why she's doing all this? You know, it's still lucky harassment, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. She sued me for a meal ticket on September the 2nd. A meal? Damn. 2022. You found your shit September the 3rd, 2024. How ironic. Y'all ready? Cause I'm about to give y'all a fucking show. I promise you. I hope she getting a bag. Did off this it, millionaire girl. just go and file this shit pro se? <laughs> oh, I know for a fact I'm about to eat. I'm about to eat. Just because you can file something don't mean it's. <laughs> Yo, that being said, and then she found it utilizing the company's girl. Oh my God, Greg, please, please get this girl on the leash and put her back in the kitchen. Please. I will put do her that too. <laughs> Put her back in the kitchen, but I can't be. I think she's talking about some. I think she's talking about some. Uh, she used the company address. I would do that too. You got again when it comes to searching somebody's name up. If you know their name or know their birthday, you can easily Google them. You probably gotta pay a little fee, and then you can get their information. And to me, that's not cool, bro. That's not cool, bro, at all. That's why like all the people that found LOCs, if you found the LOC, the LOC with your address, your actual address, somebody can find you. Hope you know that. Served it, y'all. I'm just now seeing. She found it yesterday. 
Um, I don't know who the fuck. Okay, I don't know. I ain't never seen this court before, but all my court shit has been criminal, so I, that's probably why. Um, yeah, she filed it pro se. She used the Peach Cobbler Factory's address, and I'm about to go to court, and I'm going to have a field day. Uh, yep, it was filed yesterday. Damn, had you filed it on the second, that would have been like my two-year anniversary from my original skimmer that I took down. Oh, well, I got I got to stop saying I, because I actually had the help of a lot of people who was helping. I, a lot of people helped me. I was just I was just the voice. That's it. I was just a voice box. But girl, not you want to file this shit pro se. Y'all, when I tell you I'm about to have a motherfucking field day. I'm about to become an FBI agent, Jalen. I promise. On my mama. On my mama. This here, this right here. Oh, I'm gonna do this one single-handedly. I promise. Tie one hand behind my back, officer. We about to go to work. <laughs> That's why I just react to it, bro. That's why I don't want to be and that's why when I see certain stuff, I'm like, nah, I'm going to wait till the team to pick it up. Cause boy, I ain't got time to be getting sued, bro. I already got sued one time this year for something dumb. So I ain't got time for it. Let's go through it twice. <laughs>